Breaking news, one man is dead after he was involved in two separate accidents. Police say first he hit a pedestrian and then took off, and then he ended up in a crash just a few miles away. This all ended in Hancock Park, and that's where we find CBS 2's Jasmine Veal with more details. Jazz? This was a pretty wild scene out here. The, the crash site and the accident's been cleared, but we're at the intersection of Highland and Beverly, and you can still see some of the damage from this crash, that bent sign and those broken tree limbs. This is where the driver of a white utility truck was killed minutes after he hit a pedestrian a few blocks from here. Take a look at some of the video. The driver of that white truck had hit another truck around 1245 this morning as he was speeding away from hitting that pedestrian. The white truck's slammed into the light pole where that man was ejected and killed. A piece of flying metal from that crash went right through a home's bedroom window, hitting a baby's crib. The child was not injured. And then you had the driver of the blue truck involved in this crash, suffered some minor injuries, and he was taken to the hospital. Traffic officers with LAPD say the driver of that white pickup truck ran the red light after hitting a man who had been crossing the street about two miles away at Normandy, just minutes earlier, alcohol, beer bottles were found in that white pickup truck, but it's unclear if the man killed was actually under the influence. Witnesses describe the out of control driver. I didn't even notice that the other car had flew into the, the side of this house area. I, it just happened so fast. It just looked like an explosion and somebody flying out of the car. And amazingly, that other driver involved in this and that pedestrian the man hit are all expected to be okay. They were taken to the hospital to be checked out. As for the driver of that white pickup truck killed, just said to be a middle-aged man, not identified yet.